the US Avenger SAM system, an important element of Ukrainian air defence. The Avenger Air Defense System, ANTWQ-1, is an American lightweight, self-propelled, surface-to-air missile system that gives mobile, short-range air defense protection for ground units against cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, low-flying fixed-winged aircraft and helicopters. In the basic configuration listed here and in the 12 units supplied to Ukraine, it is armed with the effective 22-pound Stinger FIM-92 surface-to-air missile and a 50 cal machine gun. The Avenger has laser and infrared technology to identify and track targets. The Avenger was originally developed for the United States Armed Forces and is currently used by the US Army, US Marine Corps and various militaries around the world, including Ukraine for the Ukrainian army and is seeing action right now against Russian forces in Ukraine. Avengers in Ukraine According to an article by David Axe published by Forbes in April 2023, in an interview with a senior Ukrainian official, Avengers are, quote, being used to protect major Ukrainian cities and to protect Ukraine's ground forces near the front line. Whilst an ABC News May 18th article in 2023 quotes the Ukrainian Defence Ministry stating that Avengers are now in the capable hands of the Ukrainian army. The first Avengers have equipped Ukraine's Northern Command, which maintains defences in and around Kiev, Chernihiv and other major cities. Avenger on the front line ABC News goes on to say, quote, it's also possible the general staff in Kiev eventually will assign Avengers to accompany frontline brigades. It's what the US Army designed the four-ton, two-person Avenger to do, after all. However, according to the earlier Forbes article on the Avenger, the reporter quotes the US Army field manual, stating, Avenger systems should not be integrated into the maneuver force when contact is expected, because it is a lightweight vehicle and is extremely vulnerable to direct fire small arms and indirect fire. Forbes thus highlights more realistically just how vulnerable the system is if used on the front lines. The Avenger has laser and infrared technology to identify and track targets and its dual launchers can carry a total of eight heat-seeking Stinger missiles. It has the ability to intercept helicopters or low-flying aircraft. However, the Stinger is a short-range weapon and can strike targets only up to 4,800 metres away. Drone and Calibre Killer According to Ukrainian Lieutenant General Serhii Naev, the Avenger is very good at intercepting Russian cruise missiles and drones at night and in all weather conditions. He said, quote, It's good for the troops as they feel confident they can hit the target. This is perhaps the main benefit of the Avenger system. After the recent massive waves of missile strikes on Kiev, including hypersonic Kinzhal missiles, though the Avenger would have no chance of hitting that. However, the bulk of attacks are drone and subsonic calibre cruise missiles and the Avenger seems to be effective here, though it is difficult to know exactly how effective given the amount of propaganda we see from both sides and the mass media. Apart from this, one has to wonder how much more effective it could be if it was not supplied in such small numbers. Patriot Limitations Clearly the Patriot air defence system being fixed in place is highly vulnerable to these heavy drone and missile barrages. The Patriot battery defending Kiev appears to have been either seriously damaged or destroyed according to leaked video footage on the 16th of May showing its launchers firing up to 30 missiles in quick succession, followed by a huge blast on the ground in the vicinity of the battery. Whereas the Avenger can shoot and scoot, thus hopefully avoiding incoming fire, the main drawback apart from its lack of armour being its very limited intercept range. Ideally, of course, all the components of a layered anti-air system, including longer range systems such as the Patriot, should be more mobile. The Russian Buk and S-300, S-400 systems, along with the German-made Iris-T, are reasonably mobile, thus better protected. 
although even these launchers have been destroyed on Ukrainian battlefields. Ukrainian Summer Offensives It remains to be seen whether the Ukrainian army will dare to use their limited Avenger units as air cover in their upcoming offensives. We shall wait and see. If you found this content at all interesting, please leave a comment, like and subscribe. We'll be making more along similar lines soon.